For several weeks, Maputo has taken on a San Francisco vibe. The construction of the longest suspension bridge in Africa, in the Mozambican capital, is well underway. Due to open at the end of the year, it will link the city's densely populated North Bank with Katembe, an undeveloped fishing village. The project's backers hope that the new bridge will help the capital grow towards the south, boosting the region's tourism. The south extreme of Maputo is one of the very unique places in the world where you can have a beach, you have the bush, so you can have game reserve, uh, uh, bird viewing, you know, you have, uh, we have lions and elephants around here. The bridge is three kilometers long and suspended 60 meters above the water. The project is led by a Chinese company and financed by a Chinese loan. But the high cost of the bridge, more than $750 million, has been criticized by local activists. This is really no numbers. You're making a bridge for maybe um, 100, 200 cars a day <laughs> on each side. 750 million? Do you know how many schools we can build with that? Do you know how many hospitals we can build with that? Mozambique is deeply in debt, worsened by a government spending spree following the discovery of oil and gas deposits. The country borrowed heavily in the hope of receiving a windfall from those resources but those who will use the bridge are delighted. Yes, the cost is very high, but thanks to the bridge and the road, there will be more development. We can't do anything without a road. You first have to have a road to build hospitals and schools. For years, locals like Pedro have been forced to wait hours to take an old ferry that often breaks down. Thanks to this multi-million dollar bridge, it will take just minutes to cross the bay.